Hey, this is Representative Evan Goyke. I'm uh, filming this from my office at my house. Um, uh, an earlier video that we put out from my office uh, had some important information about unemployment compensation benefits. It's an important uh, government program that can help displace workers in times of economic hardship. And part of the history that's unique for Wisconsin is that in 1932, Wisconsin was the first state in the country to create and adopt an unemployment insurance or unemployment compensation law. So I was doing a little digging. Um, I know we're all stuck at home, so bear with me. This is really for all of those political nerds and junkies out there like myself that really love getting in the history of uh, state politics and state history. So uh, 1932, the first state in the country to pass uh, to create the workers uh, or unemployment compensation. Um, the, the Industrial Revolution had happened in this country. There were huge, huge, huge fights. Uh, we had, um, you know, uh, antitrust laws in the turn of the century, the labor movement, the progressive era. Wisconsin had created uh, workers' compensation for injured workers. We were also the first state in the country to do that. And this idea of uh, unemployment insurance grew out of that same time period and that same effort. It did take a little longer uh, for the for the uh, law to actually get passed and signed into law, so I'm going to introduce you to a couple of key players. Um, this this is the uh, blue book from 1932. Uh, if you are like me, then you have a couple of shelves in your office uh, dedicated to old blue books. I love collecting these things. They've got a lot of interesting information. Uh, shout out to my friend Sharon Cook who gave me a couple of boxes a couple of months ago, um, putting them to good to good use. So first and foremost, I want to introduce you to um, the first person to introduce the idea of unemployment compensation as legislation in Wisconsin. His name is Henry Huber. He became lieutenant governor uh, under four different administrations. So, so here's uh, Henry Huber. So this guy, uh, Mr. Huber, uh, was a lawyer, uh, went to UW-Madison, became a lawyer, uh, practiced in Stoughton outside of Madison, uh, was on the county board. A quick side note for, for people in the criminal justice uh, uh, system, we talk about the Huber Law uh, that allows people uh, serving a sentence to, to go and work during the day and to kind of keep their income and keep their families supported. Uh, that's the guy. Henry Huber uh, created that. The Huber Law also um, rose to national notoriety because of it. Uh, it was cutting it edge at the time. So, so Huber introduces this bill, uh, and he doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't pass. Uh, this was in the nineteen, uh, like nineteen eleven, nineteen twelve, and session after session after session, um, he introduces this bill and can't get it passed. Uh, and and he had some help from some folks um, at the University of Wisconsin Madison. Some economists uh, helped really promote this idea. Um, so uh, this is a picture uh, from the Historical Society of the bill signing. Uh, so, so this is Governor Philip La Follette, who uh, was governor in 1932 when unemployment compensation uh, was signed, uh, and we're going to get to him in a minute. But this this fellow right here uh, with the cool hair, that guy's name is John R. Commons, and John Commons was an economist and professor at UW Madison, and uh, really was an architect of, of a lot of uh, New Deal era uh, uh, employment related policies. Uh, here in Wisconsin, but his influence really uh, was worldwide, na nationwide, um, and so he really um, kind of pioneered this idea of uh, unemployment insurance. And the 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 genesis of this is what he was really looking to do was provide f one a, a safety net for people displaced from work. Um, but also looking at a policy that would deter and prevent unemployment, period. Uh, at the time, you had um, corporations and entities really manipulating employment. So you'd have big uh, dips in employment and unemployment. And so part of Wisconsin's unemployment compensation law rewards employers uh, that maintain stable employment. So if you're a business and you know, you're paying unemployment, uh, tax, you pay into this fund, your payment goes down if you uh, have more stable employment. And, and the more erratic or the, the more you have to fire in, uh, in people or the more your employment um, dips and, and rises and dips, uh, the higher your uh, payment can be. So so the, the, this was one part prevention and one part uh, a, a worker benefit or an economic benefit. But that was a really contentious piece of this because actually some of uh, Commons um, 
uh, co-workers and folks at the time believed that it should only be a, a benefit and that the that there shouldn't be this component built into the law that actually rewarded um, uh, corporate entities or employers, but that they should be required to shoulder the full board of burden no matter what. So there's this big tension, uh, decades uh, fighting over it, and then um, in 1932 it finally passed. Uh, so uh, the author in the assembly... Uh, and in 1932, the Assembly uh, was the one that pushed this bill forward, and the Senate dragged its feet. Um, let me tell you, that is something that I... Man, the Assembly is where all the good ideas start. I know that that's true. Uh, sorry, Senators, but uh, we're where the good ideas start, and you guys have to be brought along for the ride. So this is the uh, Assembly author, Harold Groves. Uh, so uh, there's Mr. Groves. He was a state rep uh, and then a state senator in the uh, in the Madison city of Madison, short village of Shorewood Hills, and so Groves and Commons and Huber and um, Governor uh, Philip La Follette uh, worked on this. They had incredible help from organized labor. This is as organized labor was really ascending nationwide and uh, in the state of Wisconsin, and so. I showed you the picture earlier from January of 1932 uh, when the law was finally signed, uh, signed into law by uh, Governor Philip La Follette. Um, we got to make sure you get a picture of him too. Uh, so there's Governor Philip La Follette. Uh, Philip is the son of Fighting Bob La Follette, so they were uh, both governors. Uh, Philip's brother, uh, Robert La Follette Jr., uh, also served in the United States Senate. This was a pretty, uh, you know, dynamic. Uh, uh, family in Wisconsin politics. Uh, so Philip La Follette was governor um, from 1931 to 1933. Actually seeking re-election, he was primaried, he lost, and then he went on to create the Progressive Party uh, and then actually came back and was governor from 1935 to 1939. Uh, and so this law, this um, unemployment compensation was created in 1932, first state in the country uh, to create it, uh, the federal government, um, you know, a, a few years later created Social Security, Social Security Disability, uh, and um, actually the Wisconsin law really evolved into the federal system that we have, and then the federal system, you know, then um, all 50 states adopted some form of unemployment compensation. Uh, so look, that's an idea that now exists in 50 states as we battle uh, COVID-19 and uh, any economic uh, fallout that we have um, from uh, the changes in our world right now, unemployment compensation is going to play a large role in ensuring workers that are displaced through no fault of their own have uh, the benefits and income to keep their family uh, safe and provided for. We, we use unemployment compensation. It, it becomes incredibly important in recessions. So in 2008 and, and 2009 and 2010, uh, unemployment compensation was hugely important throughout the United States uh, to get us back uh, climbing out of the Great Recession. And that idea started in the state of Wisconsin. That idea started in the state assembly. And uh, so it, I, I just wanted to take you through, um, you know, this blue book and some of our history. Uh, for those of you um, who are watching and following along, um, we're really encouraging everyone to take advantage of these programs. We, we work and debate and fight uh, to create uh, social safety net programs like this for a reason so that people in need can take advantage of them. Um, please go to the Department of Workforce Development's website. Uh, it's best that if, if you are possibly eligible for, for unemployment benefits, if you've been displaced because of this pandemic, uh, apply online, um, call their number with questions, call me if you have questions, but take advantage of these programs. And, and, and as you're doing that, remember that it was um, created in the state assembly first, started here in the state of Wisconsin, now in 50 states. Um, and this is an opportunity when we're all at home to, to really uh, look back and study some of the things uh, that we have done as a state where we've led politically and in, in, in public policy. Uh, where we le have led the nation, and it, it, in looking back, we can see where we need to go forward. Uh, these are stories and, and efforts that clearly are inspirational to me and, and many of my coworkers. The idea of how we can create uh, programming that can really uh, benefit people's lives in the time of greatest need. Uh, so that's the story of unemployment compensation. 1932, John Commons, uh, 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 Henry Huber, Philip La Follette, 
Uh, these are the folks that made it happen here and it, it's gone throughout the country. And for, for those of you uh, yourselves, your family or your loved one um, that may need to take advantage of this program, it started here first in the state of Wisconsin. Um, hope that you enjoyed learning a little bit more about the political background of how uh, we became the first state to create and pass unemployment compensation in America. Thanks.